because I've probably had maybe five takes on this so far already and messed up. So, yeah. <laughs> this is a very, very compact um, hidden fireplace entrance that I've made um, a little while ago, but never really decided to upload till now. But it's really compact design, and I think it's really good, so I felt like I should upload it. And you can't walk into the fire, but as you open it, you're able to walk through nicely. So, let's build it. Considering the fact that I've failed so many times at trying to do a tutorial on this, I'm going to do a tutorial a bit differently. So here we see a side view of it that's pretty easy to follow. And here we see another side view of it. Now I recommend just pausing the video and kind of copying what you see. Now, this is where it's pretty, it's pretty e easy to follow from here, since I'm just going to do the other side, and you'll easily be able to f just follow what I do. So just, just do what I'm doing now and then just repeat this process on the other side. So, pretty much just what I'm doing here, and it's pretty easy to follow, I would say. Um, yeah, so just put a dispenser there, then upside down, stair there, block there, slab there, block there, or slab there as well, block there, block there, block there, and block there. Now we got pretty much the building part done, except for a few blocks here. Okay, now we have the building part done. So let's just kind of copy the redstone on the other side as well. So let's put torch there with a block on it, on that slab. And also we want the redstone to kind of finish up on the top here. So we're going to have redstone that's running through the top, like so. And we want to place a block there, and then to go two blocks out, and place a piston right carefully in there and finish the redstone coming down as well as... Uh, nope, place that back. Whoops. Something we don't need, like a lever. Let's replace that. And get that done. So we also want to have t a block running there with a piece of redstone on it going into that block with a torch there. We're also going to have a sticky piston there with a block of redstone there. W and last thing, but not least, we want to have a piston facing in right here on top of that piston. And obviously make sure your dispensers are filled, as that one is not, so place a flint and steel in there, and that one already has flint and steel, and then place your lever somewhere. Now I'd recommend having an inverted signal just so it's just able to follow, but just for the sake of this tutorial I'm not going to do that because I'm pretty sure you know how to make an inverted signal. So as you can see, you just pull the lever and it closes up, and you do that. So you would probably want to make some kind of background and maybe some Whoops. Like so. Pretty simple to do, and I really like the design. So, yep, this is Joel Zapper, guys, and yeah. Bye.